Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So today we're going to look at a bunch of sales. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. All right, let's look at a bunch of sales. Take a look at these sales and uh, whenever you're out there sourcing, see if it's maybe something that you want to source and see if you can make money off it on eBay. Uh, I like to sell mainly toys and stuff is my my favorite thing to sell. So there will be a lot of that, but you know I I source a lot of other things too. So uh, we'll mix. There will be a little bit of that mixed in as well. Okay, I sold this uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000 DVD. I saw that in the thrift store. I uh, think I paid $1.99 for it and it looked like it sold for some decent cash actually so uh, normally single DVDs aren't going to do a whole lot for you but uh, it worked out $15.32 total price paid by the customer so it isn't uh, the old uh, cardboard cover though so I might throw it in an 8x6x4 since somebody paid $15 for a DVD I probably want to make sure it, it's protected so throw my DVD in there and I'm gonna put a plastic bag just to where it doesn't bounce around bumps it up to seven ounces where you could probably get away with making a four ounce shipment if you put it in a padded but I just wanted to make sure and protect it extra okay I sold this Sega 32x game Star Trek Starfleet Academy that's another of the old uh, games we've been hoarding for many years uh, Unfortunately, the packaging on this game got damaged. Uh, if this would have been more pristine packaging, this is like a $100 game. Because uh, it's got the manual and the game and everything. It's fair to say there's probably people that aren't as familiar with Sega 32X. Uh, so if you ever see a stack of Sega games, you know, a, lot of, a lot of them might be cheap sports titles or whatever. You still got to look them up because Sega has really good games too. But uh, if you see that yellow 32X, uh, that was Sega's attempt to uh, continue the Sega Genesis system by at putting an add-on onto it uh, in between uh, the Sega Genesis and the Sega Saturn. So uh, it didn't last very long at all. Uh, I remember getting a brand new box 32X system for $15 in Walmart. Boy, I wish I would have just bought a bunch of those back in the day. That was in the 90s, of course. Uh, cause they, they basically, you know, it was a failed system. So the games can fetch a pretty good price. So pay attention to that packaging. Getting harder to find though. So, so since it's the packaging ain't great, uh, $59 and 11 cents total price paid by the customer. Also going to protect that one in a eight by six by four inch box. I think I'll also put some bubble wrapper in there. That makes it nice. Eight ounces. Okay, uh, restored. I got a video gonna be coming out. Uh, you know, I restored the legs on the, the He-Man that my wife got me for Christmas. She had found a uh, He-Man in the thrift store, but it has the legs were detached. So here's my He-Man I restored. So I'm gonna sell this other He-Man because I think the one, obviously the one she gave me was a gift. So I'm, I'm, I wanna make that the centerpiece of my collection. And I think the He-Man she got me, she found me in the thrift store here is actually a, one of the first editions where this is a, maybe a later on down the line. And the armor's not as nice. So I, I went ahead and put it up for sale. And then I got offers pretty quickly and settled on a best offer for like 55 bucks. So for this vintage He-Man, so the key to Getting good money for He-Man is the completeness, you know. Condition does matter too, but you know, I got all this stuff. Uh, so this vintage He-Man sold total price paid by the customer $63.07. So I think I'm gonna put him and all, all this stuff in this padded and then put that in an eight by six by four box as well. That and that. Seven ounces again. 
Okay, and then I sold this uh, Sega Master System controller. I had bought this controller on eBay because I was I have a Sega Master System that I was trying to fix and get working. Unfortunately, to get the the uh, the uh, the pins the to read the cartridges on the Sega Master System, it's much more challenging than like on a Nintendo because they don't make replacement pin sets. Uh, I ordered one from. China, it took months to get here, and then it's not even a real thing necessarily. It might be compatible, uh, but yeah, it involves, I'd have to desolder the old pin, pin set off the board and, and re-solder the other one on. I, I can do it, but I just thought, I didn't grow up with Sega Master System anyways, and I went ahead and sold the Sega Master System games, so I'm just gonna sell the console as for parts or repair, and then sell this controller back. So it sold for $22.32. 6x4x4 by four by four box might work for this controller. Yep. Six ounces. Okay, here's some vintage soldiers I got. They were actually in that uh, uh, vintage car case. So I separated the vintage soldiers out. Like... Revolutionary War type soldiers. Uh, these soldiers here sold for twelve dollars and seventy-seven cents total price paid by the customer. I'm gonna throw them in this uh, little mailer here. I'm gonna put them in this six by four by four inch box. Right up four ounces, good to go. All right, here's a, I sold a, from from those Star Wars figures lot, you know, the vehicles and all that stuff. Really nice lot. There was also a, this is a, a Star Wars um, a Black Series Ray from, I think The Force Awakens, Jakku Ray. Uh, that figure, total price paid by the customer, uh, $7.24. I think that one should be okay in a padded four ounces. Okay, I sold that Nerf Rebel uh, pistol. I forgot what it's called again. Let me look it up. Oh yeah, it's called the Charm Series Dauntless because it's supposed to have a charm little bracelet thing that hangs down here. Uh, didn't have that, but even without that, that blaster right there sold for uh, $24.37 total price paid by the customer. <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw in this little box. <laughs> be 11 ounces okay then uh, from my micro machines lot I paid a three two ninety nine plus a 20% discount off on a bag of bunch of micro machine stuff and it's gonna be a good one uh, this is my first sale from it the rest of them I got on auction uh, and they're doing pretty well uh, it was a bunch of army figures and stuff micro machines and other brands and stuff too I lotted the army figures up together uh, total price paid by the customer for those army figures, $12.28. I will throw those in a 6x4x4 by four by four box. I'm going to take a plastic bag to use as a void filler and I'll just kind of roll them up in that and then that way they won't bounce around too much inside the box. Under 4 ounces. All right, here's a Wii uh, World Series Baseball 2009 Little League game. I picked up at the thrift store, uh, thrift store for $2.99, 20% discount. Uh, this sold for $14.67 total price paid by the customer. This guy I'll just throw in a padded. It'll probably be four ounces, maybe five, probably four. Under four, so nice four ounce Wii game sale. Here's a lot of Legos that uh, I found at the thrift store. I think I paid like four bucks for them. It's about a pound of Legos. I'm not gonna bust it out, but uh, it was looked like a bunch of Legos that are kind of the same color and everything. I was like, this like, seems like a pretty good bag. Usually it was, usually they price Legos higher at the thrift store, so since it was cheaper, I went in on it. So I just decided to flip the lot as is. It is over a pound, so I will either have to go I'll either do regular priority mail, or if the price isn't good enough, I will use a, uh, a padded flat rate envelope for it. 
but we'll see. It's one point, it's under, we'll have to weigh it as a two pound and see. But anyways, uh, total price paid by the customer $17.26 for the Legos. All right, I sold this vintage uh, Amazing Spider-Man figure. This is the last of a lot of a uh, bunch of sealed uh, action figures I got, uh, vintage figures from shopgoodwill.com. Uh, the rest, I kept some from my own collection you've seen in my videos. Um, Amazing Spider-Man figure sold. Uh, total price paid by the customer, $23.99. I'm going to reuse a Walmart box that uh, they ship my He-Man figures in. Uh, but I will use extra protection than what Walmart does. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. Shouldn't, shouldn't, it should be immobile in there, so that's what's important to me. 11 ounces. Okay, just not too long ago when one of the videos I showed you, maybe this video, I'm not sure, I got a vintage Motu lot where I kept a lot of good stuff for myself. So I've extracted the stuff I wanted to keep for my collection out, and this is what was left over, 12 figures. Uh, pretty nice, pretty decent, uh, some of them are beat up shape, some of them are pretty decent figures. Um, and I threw in a couple uh, ra kind of ratty accessories. They weren't the best condition. Uh, so I almost made the same exact sale price as what I paid for the same lot, but minus the stuff that I kept. Uh, total price paid by the customer $72.88 for these figures. I think I'm going to use this priority mail medium flat rate. And I'm just gonna stack them in there nicely. And they should protect, kind of protect each other, void fill each other. One of the nicest ones was this Hordak, rubber head Hordak from Mexico, pretty nice. So prior to mail, medium flat rate box is gonna cost me around $12 and some change. Okay, I sold this uh, Cabela's, uh, this is for PlayStation 3, I think. Cabela's hunting controller. I think I paid uh, like less than $2 for this actually at the thrift store, so I, that's why I decided to get it. And it did sell, not for the greatest sale, uh, $26.70 total price paid by the customer. This is a video game controller. I'm gonna try to protect it a little bit. And I'm more than likely going to use priority mail, so I will. I'm just going to cut up some uh, priority mail boxes and make a Frankenstein box. Three pounder. All right, I sold these uh, vintage Yu-Gi-Oh dragons. I've had these for a long time. I got these at the thrift store. Paid like four or five bucks. Not a great purchase because they were missing some pieces. Uh, like this was missing a wing, so probably wouldn't do the same purchase again. But uh, finally sold them. Uh, probably not for the greatest profit. Eighteen dollars and sixty-four cents total price paid by the customer. Actually, that's not too bad. Figures in there. Whoa, that's a huge piece of paper. Yeah, it's gonna be a two pounder. All right then, 
these Nerf uh, Force Awakens Chewbacca, uh, what are they called? Uh, they're not called crossbows. They're, oh, bowcaster. Chewbacca's blaster is called a bowcaster. So two different ones. These aren't working properly. Uh, be on the lookout for these blasters. These will sell for decent cash uh, if they work properly. These ones didn't work properly, so I put them together and sold them for uh, uh, $29.76 total price paid by the customer. I usually get these for like a dollar a piece. I'm just going to see if I can throw them both in a 16 by 12 by 8 box. Not a bad sale for non-working Nerf guns. Three pounder. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one.